Hello and welcome to the first course on artificial intelligence, or commonly known as AI in the field. So AI was a invented, term invented in the 1950s to describe this field. So what's it about? Well, ultimately it's about agents. It's about agents. So agents are just things that act in the world. So like the wind and the rain. But we're talking about particular types of agents here. We're talking about agents that act intelligently. So what does that, so we're going to define what that means. But what's important for us now is that agents get judged by their actions. So just like in a court of law, you don't get judged by what's in your head, you get judged by an action. Here we're going to judge agents by their actions. We're going to judge them by how they work. There are lots of fields that study agents that act intelligently, psychology, economics, sociology. Um, but what distinguishes us is there's two features that distinguish what we do in, in AI. And the first one is we're going to study computational agents. So computational agents is one that can, whose behavior can be described in terms of computation. So it can be described in terms of simpler and simpler procedures, the basic ones which can be embedded on a computer. We're now going to study not just computational agents. The other thing that's important is we can synthesize these agents. So not, we're not only just observing their external behavior, but we can actually build them. So artificial intelligence is the synthesis and the analysis of computational agents that act intelligently. So that's what we're going to mean here. Okay, so what's important here is we talk about agents. And agents get judged by their actions, they've got to act intelligently, they're computational, and we're both going to synthesize and, anal and analyze them. So now let's define what we mean by acting intelligently. So an agent acts intelligently if, okay, so an agent acts intelligently if, first of all, it doesn't, actions are appropriate for its goals and circumstances. So its actions are appropriate. So it does the appropriate thing, but it has to do, but what it does has to depend on its goals and circumstances for its goals, what it's trying to achieve and its circumstances. Where it happens to find itself. So depending on the goals and the circumstance of the agent, it might do different things. So its actions got to be appropriate depending on what it's trying to do and where it finds itself. So you could have a, a robot painting agent that paints a robot that paints a car in a warehouse in a factory that builds cars. Well, it's probably not a very intelligent agent. Why? Well, it's not flexible to changing environments and goals. If you give it a cat, it's still going to paint it the same as if you gave it a car. So it should be, so to be intelligent, it should be flexible. This should be flexible to changing environments. So if the environment changes, or it's good. Um, and goals. So if the environment changes or the goals do, it should be able to adapt to that. So that's part of what it's doing. It's adapting to the environment and doing this. So it should learn from experiences. It learns from experience. Okay, so it should learn as it gets more things. It should get better and better at what it's doing. And one of the things we have to worry about is the fact that we at agents are not can't observe the whole world their perception and computational limitations. So it should still then make the appropriate choices, even though it doesn't observe all the world, it can't observe everything, and it can't compute infinitely fast. So it's going to make still make appropriate choices. So it makes appropriate choices given both perceptual and computational limitations. OK, 
Okay, so that's what's going to mean here. So it's going to make, so given that it can't observe all the world, it can't compute forever, it's still going to do, make appropriate things. So that's what we're going to mean here by acting intelligently. Okay, so that's what we got. So now, so now we know what we're studying here. We're studying agents and we're going to make sure that they act intelligently. We're going to have their behavior as appropriate, even if they don't actually think like a, like a human, they're still going to act like it intelligently. Okay, so now let's next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the internals of an agent. 